Palutena wins. Yeah. Hmm. I thought it'd Palutena be more like even because of Game Watch. No, Palutena beats Game & Watch but loses to the Rev. Oh, okay. I'm assuming by like, Rad. There's a little, there's a little, the Rad is Pikachu, yes. Okay. So we got a red Game & Watch. That's an ult I actually never see. But that's the thing about this matchup. You're right, it might actually be even because of the bucket. But but the, the thing is, Palutena's projectiles in the bucket actually have like no knockback at all. Yeah, because like, like, they don't give knockback, they just... They give a lot, they don't give that much The last hit of Explosive Flame is knockback, other than that. So, Oolong just landing with these down airs. Getting the up air. Um, Krishan actually beating Versailles earlier today. Is... That was on no. That was a pretty big upset. Not seating wise, but... Result, I don't know. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But just right, like I'm what? gonna get off for a second, you mind solo commentating for a bit? I'm done, yeah. So, we have Oolong and Kushan here. As Oolong just is ledge trapping him pretty much almost to death here, this Nair does not fully connect on her, so... Not, could've gotten the kill, honestly, with that Nair. He did follow up. But, Oolong gonna ledge trap with the Chef, trying just to make sure he keeps him off stage. Kushan just desperately trying to, like, stop him with the counter, but it's not gonna work as the down air connects, taking the first off. That jab has a back hit box, didn't know that. But Red Oolong is definitely... Ooh, good play from Kershawn with the count with the reflector, which makes sure he would not get hit by that up there. Oolong has a butt, has a lot of stage control here. He's looking to finish off the stock really early with, this, with a good lunge trap. The Nair, the teleport on center stage, not gonna work out for Krishan as he's gonna get dashed up. Probably looks for the counter, but he knows he's gonna counter that time, so he does not hit him. He parried the- oh, that's unfortunate. He parried the first of the bomb, but the second hit connects, because I knew- like, he just mistimed it a little bit. It's really unfortunate. But he's getting his up airs, but not anymore with the counter. And then what a read on the down air. The up tilt being a disjoint is going to beat out that demo. Ah, oh, yeah, another thing about Palutena, moves with her shield, they block, like, projectiles and other moves, like that hit, like, her dash attack and back air. Like, you could, like, fair her dash attack and it wouldn't do anything. She could just grab you. So, Oolong has a hefty advantage here, a full stock lead. Like, that, not exactly a full stock, but, like, I'm catching the drift. And just, oh, like, that up smash, he committed stock. to that up smash, jeez. Tries to land on him with an aerial. You can't do that against Game Watch. It's invincible up smash. That's that stuff. It's invincible. And yeah, just like that, Red Oolong takes his game one. All right, this this arena music is so good. I'm sorry. What the Wii Shop channel? The Wii Shop channel. I love the Wii Shop channel. Wii Shop channel pog. Wonder what changes we're gonna see. Pro I honestly think Krishan might switch to Pac-Man in this matchup, but who really knows? What did I just say? He switches to Pac-Man in this matchup. All right, I'm back for game two. Krishan switched to Pac-Man. Game Camp man, as he calls him. So we're gonna start. Not really, right. but we're already. What is this? Yeah, I don't think um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Game Watch cannot absorb um Pac-Man's projectiles. He just reflects them. Yeah, it was, that's probably just... what he wanted to do because they knew it was gonna like start to like charge and throw out something. So he just, yeah, he like, threw out the melon, just, but it just reflected. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna wait now. All right, Kershawn gets the key, the fast-paced object. It, it does a lot. It's really good. But it's pretty even right now, just setting up 
Krishan's setting up his tent. Hey, you want to know something Krishan did earlier? He, when he was against Versailles, he knocks the, he knocked the Hydrant into Versailles. With, like, just, in, that just killed him, like, on his last stop of the entire set. It was one of the most glorious ways to finish a set I've ever seen. Yeah, the Hydrant kill is funny. Funny, Hydrant, funny. And also, the game before that, the water pushed, pushed Ike away from ledge just, the, like, by two inches and he died. So right now, it's looking pretty even. A lot better than last game for Krishan, but things could change very quickly. Things could change if Red Oolong decides to bring out, like, new Dungeon or something. He's playing Game of Watch this tournament. We just never know what, what character... We never know go. what's going to happen, though, actually. So that's a good point. This tournament's a little better, so you'd think he'd be playing Game of Watch and Dunner. Yeah. The Nair out of shield frame, three Nair from background, like, it really did. Oh, misses the up smash. I don't know if that was the right punish, the but he, he down airs right in front of him, and that's a three up smash to kill it. Now, I find, find Pac-Man and Game & Watch to be some of the quirkiest characters in this game. Well, they're meant Game & Watch gets a lot of hate for that. Pac-Man, I don't see many people hating him, but trust uh, me, he's gonna get hated. That, there's, like, a I, there's a lot of people that do hate him, but honestly, I can respect that. Yeah, I can respect Pac-Man in a way. If you have projectiles, you're gonna get hate. It's that simple. Little Mac. Yeah, I hate Little Mac. What is that? What's your, what's your point? Well, I'm not saying it's only characters that have projectiles. I'm saying if you have a projectile, you're most likely. I mean, I hate Little Mac and Bowser. What's your point? I yeah. Okay, sure. Oh, but, there's the oh, down. That's a there's the down smash. He catches the neutral. Get up with that. He saw Oolong committing. He's probably thought he would release it earlier, so that's why he would neutral get it to like at the end of the frames. No, he hoped it. Yup. So, we have Kershawn. It's it's still very even. Oh, he reflects, his, the, he reflects the key back Big reflect. Big reflect. That literally evens up the percent count, basically. Yeah, that, that, that did like 20. That's, this is, um, Oolong's Hydrant, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess no. not really. The Hydrant doesn't really belong to anyone, it just exists. It just exists at that point. The Chef Ledge Trap, the one button ledge Oh! Trap. oh a missed he... input side B. No, did he, did he side beat all the way down to the bottom? No, he, he down aired and he was gonna tr probably most likely try to up you. But he accidentally like, but, side like, beat. Like, nothing came out, that means he just didn't act out. No, he side beat. I saw, he, he got oh, a Oh, you six. saw the start of the judge? He got a six. Oh, feels bad, champ. He didn't even get a nine down there either. Feels that, bad. That's like, that's like super unlucky. It unfortunate bad, misinput, yeah. which gives Krishan the lead. And Krishan That isn't really unfortunate for Krishan, but that's unfortunate for Luan. Yeah, that's what I mean. It gives oh, Krishan the use, lead. Tried to use his own melon against him, but. Yep. Ulong, obviously, with Game Watch, got a smash attack. Alright, so he down smashes the hydrant there, where Krishan just F smashes it back. I love watching Pac Man, because I feel like. Like, uh, I know people probably hate me for this, but, like, if in played the right way, Pac-Man just, like, all of, like, the quirky setup that's really high if you're just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, he can do some really interesting, like, setups. And just like that, there's a down smash to... With, like, the bonus fruit, the Hydra, in like, the side B. Like, he can do zero deaths with the Galaga. It's, it's, it's an interesting character. Like, he had, he could technically, he really, like, has infinite possibilities with his bonus fruit. I'll 100% agree with you with that. Like, he just, a lot of, like, a lot of the time he's, like, in the corner, but he can do some hard things. I'll agree. Like, some of the setups Pac-Man can do are really cool. Yeah. So, Kajan so... having a, about a 40% lead, but it's, it's pretty much even. I mean, if you're on last stock, it's even. And uh, what do you mean, 30% lead the stock? The counts basically back and now in favor of Oolong and then there's the oh, chair. Oh, and Oolong oh, no. wins Oolong the chair. A Oolong able to come back from a SD, actually. Feels bad. He, he just got on such a huge run there and so that was it. And Red Oolong takes game two. Remember, this is still a best of five set, so... And winner of this actually goes on to play Sever in Winner's Finals. So, that's very interesting to see.
Once again, game and watch Pac-Man. Right Let me. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a trip to Brett. So let's see, what's our next game? All right, so we're we're, we're 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 Pac-Man versus Game and Watch on Town and City this time, not Smashville. Well, I know, but what's our our next match? Krishan probably picked this stage just because it's like I feel like he said it's his personal best. All right, our next match is gonna be Losers Quarters, right? Uh, no, we're gonna go into Winners Quarters. Oh, and then we'll do Losers Quarters if that's available. Yeah. Well, right now. In Boozer's, Boozer's round six, K Bean is. No, gonna, and let's not talk about let's not talk about the red right. versus the bracket right now and focus on what's happening in front of us. So we have Krishan and Ulan. Oh wow! Use it the, 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 use it the water to just push. The hydrant pushed him forward and he got to continue his. Hydrant is a menace. That was cool. Oh, huge up smash! He gets hit by the hydrant too, and he almost died. Ulong almost getting the down smash. He read the neutral get up, but just a little. We released it too early. Kershawn was trying to get the bell. F smash lands on top. Like, he lands on top of F smash, so that kind of just made Game and Watch like freeze for a second. Game Watch Alright, Kershawn's like, charged up all the way to key. If he just. He has the key. Key, key will kill. Key will. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Game and Watch is eating the fire hydrant. The bell not happening. Oh, so Whoa. He that almost up. killed. Oh boy. So Krishan has the bell. Not gonna get anything off of it though. Krishan obviously probably keeping this bell. We're looking for the kill confirmed bell of F smash. Most likely, yeah. Yep. He grabs the melon off of the reflection. He oh, he just set set, he just set him up there to the point where he had to drop from Legend Go. Both of these players yep. have ludicrously high percents for their for their characters' weight classes. The back and what did I just say? That was clean. A, D, a DI mix-up, most likely on the back there. Probably was thought he would pour it there, so he. I don't think he should have died with that. is still living, as Ulan desperately tries for the kill off stage. Oh, is that gonna? He misses the tech. Misses the tech. That thing's really hard to tech online because of the monkey hit. So Kershawn with a little bit of a loop, but it's the same stock landing. It's, it's really even. We've already had three minutes of the game and we're only on like the beginning of second stock. I mean, that's kind of the nature of both of these characters. But this is something I like weirdly enjoy watching in a way since they're not like purposely standing on the other sides of the stage running away from each other. Is he dead? He's dead. He's dead. Aw, oh, poor Kershawn. That was at 17% too. It feels bad. He had the lead, and Oolong is teabagging. Oolong had the- Oolong was actually in a deficit. He was in a disadvantage position, but that just gave him- Oh, That feels terrible. Unfortunate destiny. So, Oolong trying to take advantage of his newfound lead. As this hydrant is weird. Hydrant's a weird one. The hydrant and the bonus fruit and all of Game Watch's like collectors and stuff in play is a very interesting dynamic in this matchup. He hits the hydrant up, maybe he thought he would stay on the platform. Oh, huge lag spike. That's weird. Oh Kershawn, the hydrant. <laughs> oh, hydrant. He dropped high. hydrant all the way up there and it sent him up into the blast zone. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill from that high up. Especially the game Chef at ledge. Light. Chef oh my God. down smash, that's it. Unbeatable! Chef I Legend swear, just that was a very- that was so unfortunate for Kishan, actually. That like, I feel so killed. bad. I feel like he kind of might have just given up after the SD, honestly. I would too. Yeah, that's just extremely unfortunate. Yeah, good job to both players.